Hey guys, how's it going? So I'm up in the Versailles garden next to the honey locust tree that we just noticed split right down the center. We showed it to you in a recent video. Actually, in that video, we were up here working on this tree, doing a little pruning just to lift the canopy a bit. And that's when we noticed that it happened. And we have really strong windstorms, usually about once a week here. So we have no idea when it happened because the tree looks perfectly healthy, like both sides, there's not a wilted leaf on either side. Um, so who knows, it could have happened a week ago or two weeks ago or a month ago, um, but it's a huge bummer. We had thought about restructuring this garden at some point, which may have meant removing this tree and the other locust on the other side, but we're nowhere near ready to do that. We have a lot of other projects going on, a lot of other irons in the fire. So today we are going to attempt to save this tree. And we don't know, like we're not professionals, like I'll start with that. Um, we've done a lot of research, especially Aaron, he's gonna be the one tackling this. I'm not gonna be up in the tree or anything today. Um, so he is going to work on cabling this thing together, but we feel like we're not out anything because we either need to one, remove the tree because this is not safe to keep around, or two, we can attempt to save it, limp it along, and sometimes it works. In fact, there is a huge tree in our town on one of our like oldest streets in town where there are big, beautiful homes, and one of the trees split at some point and there's huge chains around it holding it together still a beautiful tree and it's safe because the chains I mean they're heavy duty chains um, so I started thinking about that and then I rooted around online ended up finding a few videos one of which was from this old house we will uh, link it down below and I feel like that's a very reputable source like they've been around forever and whenever they present a project I feel like they either bring on an expert to show us what they're doing or they do a lot of research before they put something out there so um, that's kind of what we're going to follow today. Aaron is going to cable the tree together up in the canopy and then also bolt it together here on the trunk. So I think this is going to be kind of interesting because if this gets us by with this tree, like I will be just so thrilled to not lose the shade and the structure out here. I was just like, I'm pretty good at taking stuff like this now. When stuff like this happens, I mean, I don't, it doesn't take me down for very long or bum me out hard. I just like, look at things as this is gardening and it opens up an opportunity to do a new project or you know i try to look at things that way but i really didn't want to this time i really want to save this tree so aaron's got all the supplies i'm going to go grab him and let him know we're ready there he is i want to show you a close-up of this crack before we get started so the split starts right there you can see daylight through it and we follow it down hope you guys can see that it's probably a good four foot split going all the way down to here But I mean, the tree looks as healthy as ever. Probably kind of hard to explain exactly how to do this without visualizing it, but I can at least show you the parts. So we've got quarter inch cable that we're gonna to use to lash the uh, upper branches together. Um, these are called thimbles. Uh, these are, what did you say these were called? Uh, quarter inch wire clips. Yeah, you'll see how we use these. Washers, bolts. Uh, we have nuts. a couple- Nuts. Nuts, yeah, not bolts, these are nuts. Uh, we have some eye screws and this is a turnbuckle. And then this is a long, what do you call this? A rod, a rod. metal yeah. rod. A 5 8 inch rod, which we're gonna to use to try to bolt the trunk together. Um, I bought this uh, drill bit, which is a 5 8 drill bit. That's intense. It's like an auger bit. It like bores out the wood instead of like it, it draws yeah. the wood out. Right. Um, oh. Other things like drill, reciprocating saw. I'm wearing this, <laughs> I'm wearing this. And I suggested to Aaron that he wear PPE so don't follow what Aaron's doing, but I'm not gonna be crawling around in this tree to get this done, but I might get semi-close to get some shots so you guys can see what's going on with the camera. So I will be wearing the hard hat and I will be wearing glasses too. I need to go get glasses, but I will be properly attired. Aaron, you're gonna get called. I told you he's gonna get called out. Yes. But we're not professionals. <laughs> Homeowners here. Homeowners. The last thing I guess that might be interesting is that all this stuff cost about $150. Uh, the, I forget how much the drill bit was, but I did have to buy the drill bit. Of course, I had a lot of the other stuff like the drill and the reciprocating saw. Got the hammers. It's just this stuff. So like the wire and then all of these things right here and the bit. $150, which like that's a small price to pay if we can actually save this tree, which you can't put a price it. on. Can't put a price on that right there. I hope this works. You can put a price on it. Oh, you, you always say you can put a price on anything, but I don't think that's true. If somebody offered you... Can you put a price on that blue spruce over there? If somebody offered you $2 million to take it out, what would you Like do? pay me $2 million? Yeah, pay I you will two... come take your tree out. And, and I will I pay, pay you $2 million. I'm pretty sure that's a price you would take. I'll just plant another blue spruce. 
Well, maybe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So now we're just going to try to talk through and show you this process as best we can. Aaron is setting up the ladder. Step number one. Got it. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Get in close, Laura. Um, this is our turnbuckle, so this is what's gonna help us tighten or loosen uh, the cable. I guess we'll only be tightening it, won't we? Yeah. But either way, we use the thimble right here because um, I guess it can wear if you don't use one of these. Uh, this is the inside piece right here. And then the quarter inch is just locked down with these wire, what'd you call them? Uh, wire clips. Wire clips. Mm -hmm. I don't know any of the terminology of this stuff because that's this is not what I do. We use two for extra stability. Yes. So what we're going to do is basically this exact same configuration in the eye bolts that are up in the tree. So that's just going to be hanging kind of in the center. Yeah. So this will be in the center. And then what we'll do is we'll use this. When you turn this, it will tighten up the cable. I imagine we'll do that. And then once we bolt the trunk and get that kind of pinched together, we'll have to tighten it a little bit more. So by turning this, it brings everything Together. cinched in. Okay. And we did decide to do this a little bit lower in the tree so you can see where the eye bolts are because the branches really are not that big and we didn't want to send a big bolt through the branches. We thought it would be too much pressure and weight. So we're going to do it right here. So it'll just go span the distance there and then with the extra stability of bolting through three times here, I think we'll be good. I hope this is actually called a thimble. It might be called something else. Thimble is for sewing. Yeah. I wonder if it's, I'll look it up. So we're going to try to do our best to capture this next step so you can see it. Um, but I think it's going to take both of our sets of hands to do this. I'm going to be handing Aaron stuff as he needs it. Um, so anyway, we'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. So I know the background is kind of bright, but this is what we've got so far. I've got the eye bolt into the tree and then a little bit of cable kind of looks like a menagerie. Um, but then that turns into the eye bolt or I'm sorry, the uh, turnbuckle and then goes over here. And I was going to run cable from here to here, but it's just too short a distance. So I ended up going with this hook um, and it's got this, this lever right here. So I don't think that it can come undone. So really at this point, we're ready to start tightening it. Hopefully it works.
Well, I think that Aaron did a pretty darn good job. He has it ratcheted down as far as he could get it. So you can see that up there. I think he already showed you a close up of the menagerie that we've got going on, but honestly, it's pretty inconspicuous. Like, I'm pretty happy with the way that looks. Yeah, the fact that it's metal uh -huh. or stainless steel, I, it, you know, it kind of just- It just kind of blends in. Yeah, you don't really see it. And then he went ahead and bolted the trunk together in two spots. We had meant to do three like it showed in the This Old House DIY video, but we ran out of metal rod. So that might be something that we come in and do a third one like right down in here. And that may help us get the trunk a little bit closer together, but that looks so much better. Oh, I hope this works. And here's a backed up look. And honestly, it doesn't look half bad just to have a couple of bolts and that metal strap up top. And really the tree is showing no signs of suffering. Let me show you from backed up. Like this tree looks as healthy as can be. And that's why we thought if we can put this thing back together, maybe have it grow back together and heal itself, like how amazing would that be? Especially because it's just, it looks so good. At least we know it's safe now. At least we know like there is no way those two sides can come down at this point. Never say never. <laughs> well, I, yeah, I guess so. All right, Aaron, is there anything that you would do differently now that you've done this for a first time? No, probably not. I mean, I'm not very comfortable with the cabling. I, I just don't, I don't know all the pieces and parts. I, I think that's probably the best way, you know, that I could have done it. There might be better parts out there. Um, one thing I will say though, that I learned on that video is that you need to hammer in the bolt uh, when you're done with it. That way this can't spin out. Ooh, let me see if I can get to focus, hold on. And there it is. <laughs> So if you put your bolt on and then hammer this part right here, it kind of flays it out and then there's no way this can come undone. Does that make sense? Yeah, makes total sense. Do you think we're gonna need a third metal rod in uh, there? Maybe. We can we can go get one at some point. Sure. It's not really a rush, I don't think. I mm -hmm. think it's, it's stable, it's not gonna go anywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, probably should put a third rod in. That way we follow the DIY tutorial to the yeah. letter. Yeah. <laughs> also, we got some good use out of one of our new ladders from Gorilla Ladders. This is that multifunction ladder and we had to extend both of the sides out. Also, it has this little platform, which most multi-position ladders, I guess, don't have this and Aaron used the heck out of it with all the little parts. So anyway, that's kind of exciting. It's always fun to put something like that to use like right away. And that is it for this video. It actually took us, you might notice, I don't even remember what I was wearing yesterday when we started this project. Anyway, um, it took us a couple days because it took us three different trips to the store <laughs> for parts. We didn't have the right sizes of things. We had to take eye bolts back and that sort of thing, like, you know, how projects go. So anyway, started it yesterday, finished it this evening. I'm glad it's done. And I really am hopeful that this is the fix that just does it for this tree because I am not ready for it to go. It's a beautiful tree and I really do like locust trees because we call them the rakeless tree. They have such tiny little leaves. Like, I mean, the leaves are so little that when they fall, they pretty much just blow away. <laughs> like you don't really have a huge mess and I love that. Do you remember these creating a bunch of pods? Uh, they're easy to mow up. They so are easy to mow. Just, you just mow them up in the fall. And then yeah. And these don't seem to throw pods. No. There are some um, honey locust trees that throw those great big pods. And I don't know exactly what variety these are just because uh, they were here when we moved in. They might be Shade Master, but uh, my parents have a Shade Master that throws the pods. So maybe it's a sunburst. It does have some bright uh, leaves, leaf color when it leaves out. So maybe it's a sunburst, I don't know. Either way, I really like these trees and I'm hope hoping for the best for this one. So you guys will be able to see if this works as we go along, because if we have any issues, we will let you know. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Say a little prayer for our tree. Wish us luck. Thanks for watching. Bye.